so as I said earlier, there's a push factor and a pull factor. We've done pushing. We're not going to do pulling. So the next, one of the most common things you hear all the time is girls getting grabbed by their ponytails and getting yanked to the ground. Um, and then you hear self-defense activists saying, oh, don't wear a ponytail, don't wear a blah, 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 don't do that. And that drives me insane. I hate that. You have to live in the world you live in. If you have long nails, you have to learn how to shoot a gun with long nails or you carry a gun. If you have long hair, you have to live in the world with long hair and you need to have techniques that are going to work. So the solution to this is not to get a GI Jane buzz cut and walk around with a knife in your hand at all points of time. It's to have solutions for the body you have and the way you look and be who you are. But understand that this is insurance, right? You can be who you are and look how you want. But this just gives you a little bit of insurance just in case somebody decides they don't agree with that decision. So when we're doing this, uh, it's a hair grab, but also if there's, got, there's some guys watching this, I've been looking at the comments. Thanks for all the comments, by the way. Look at the comments of guys who are talking to you. This works for hoodies. This works for backwards hats. This works for guys with ponytails. This works for a police with vests on. This technique is always a pull. And the point of this technique, or the, the point of the attack that is being thrown at me, is to grab my whatever lever, isolate my spine, and get my head over my hips so I have no center of balance and I fall down. So what's gonna happen is number one, it's surprise, surprise, we're gonna do entry. But the reason we're gonna do entry is we're breaking apart this. So if they want to grab my head, keep me tall, make my body a lever, and get my head over my hips, I don't want any of those things to happen. So as he grabs me, I'm gonna entry as a counterbalance. And I'm going to drop my butt back and my weight forward, just like with entry normally. But because they're pulling, pull, it's going to be me coming backwards because you're most likely going to go with the pain. Now from here, it's not impossible to take me down, but it becomes much, much more difficult. From this position, I am going to reach back, just like our defense on the wall. And I'm going to grab whatever I can grab. So if, I, if my hair is short like mine, you can grab the wrist and you can make this turn work and hit. You may lose some hair, but it's much better than the alternative of your head smashing the ground. If they're lower, if you have long hair, for example, as long as you remove the lever, you're good to go. So, as I have this hoodie on, when he grabs here, if I grab here, this is not going to stop the leverage from happening, right? So as I'm here, I need to grab whatever they're grabbing. So if it's a ponytail, you can just put your hand there and put a kink in the lever, which takes away a lot of the leverage. Okay? If it's clothing and it's lower, as I pull, I need to grab my clothing to the best of my ability just to get my lever active, and then it's my elbow versus their elbow, and then same thing, I'm going to turn. If I turn this way, I'm going to go into entry. If I turn this way, I'm just going to decide to do damage. And again, just like before, even if they maintain contact, it doesn't matter because I can start hitting, and now I know this hand is isolated. So even though they didn't let go, the technique hasn't failed, because the position of the technique is much more important than doing the actual technique correctly. As long as you get to your hips facing, you can do damage. Drop forward, boom, yeah, grab, turn. Hit it, hit, bang, 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 nice.